In this video we'll briefly discuss what is clonidine and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, and contraindications and precautions. Clonidine is a centrally acting antihypertensive and antiadrenergic. It activates alpha-2 receptors in the brain, resulting in an inhibitory effect on catecholamine release, and ultimately reduces peripheral vascular resistance, renal vascular resistance, heart rate, and blood pressure. It is available as tablets, transdermal patch, and solution for epidural injection. Clonidine is used in hypertension, also used for cancer pain unresponsive to opioids alone, and used for opiate withdrawal, and for facilitation of smoking cessation. The usual initial dose for hypertension for adults is 100 micrograms twice a day. Increasing weekly in increments of 100 micrograms per day until the desired response is achieved. To the maintenance dose of 200 to 600 micrograms per day. And the maximum dose is 2.4 milligrams per day. Also for hypertension, transdermal system delivering 100 micrograms per 24 hours can be applied every 7 days. Then dosage can be increased by 100 micrograms every 1 to 2 weeks to determine best response. Common side effects of clonidine include dizziness, sedation and drowsiness, dry mouth, constipation, and weakness. And it may also cause orthostatic hypotension, palpitations and depression and nightmares, and erythema and pruritus with transdermal form. Do not stop taking clonidine abruptly, as this may precipitate a withdrawal reaction, such as hypertensive crisis. Apply patch at bedtime to clean and hairless area, on upper arm or chest. Take sips of water frequently, suck on ice chips or chew sugarless gum if dry mouth occurs. Avoid sudden position changes to prevent orthostatic hypotension. Avoid driving and other activities requiring mental alertness or that are potentially dangerous. And also avoid alcohol and other CNS depressants, such as opiate analgesics and sedatives. That's all for this video, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.